In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear friends, this church today, we celebrate the feast of St. Martin uh, de Porres, uh, who was a model of humility, of charity, and of holiness. And we gather here this midday hour to celebrate these sacred mysteries. We pause to call the mind of our sins, especially this, the, the many times we have failed to embrace uh, those virtues manifested in the life of Martin de Porres. And so we beg God's pardon, strength, and healing. You came to heal the contrite of heart. Lord have mercy. Lord. You came to call sinners, Christ have, mercy. Christ have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty and merciful God, by whose gift your faithful offer you right and praiseworthy service. Grant, we pray, that we may hasten without stumbling to receive the things you have promised. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. All of us in union with Christ form one body as parts of it we belong to each other. Our gifts differ according to the grace given us. If your gift is prophecy, then use it as your faith suggests. If administration, then use it for administration. If teaching, then use it for teaching. Let the preachers deliver sermons, the almsgivers give freely, the officials be diligent, and those who do works of mercy do them cheerfully. Do not let your love be a pretense, but sincerely prefer good to evil. Love each other as much as brothers should, and have a profound effect for each other. Work for the Lord, with untiring effort and with great earnestness of spirit. If you have hope, this will make you cheerful. Do not give up trials if they come and keep on praying. If any of the saints are in need, you must share with them and you should make hospitality your special care. Bless those who persecute you. Never curse them. Rejoice with those who rejoice and be sad with those in sorrow. Treat everyone with equal kindness. Never be condescending, but make real friends with the poor. The word of the Lord. Keep my soul in peace before you, O Lord. Keep my soul in peace, O Lord. O Lord, my heart is not proud, nor haughty my eyes. I have not gone after things too great, nor marvels beyond me. Truly, I have set my soul in silence and peace, a weaned child on its mother's breast 
Even so is my soul. O Israel, hope in the Lord, both now and forever. Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, enlighten the eyes of our mind so that we can see what hope his call holds for us. from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. One of those gathered round the table said to Jesus, happy the man who will be at the feast in the kingdom of God. But he said to him, there was a man who gave a great banquet and he invited a large number of people. When the time for the banquet came, he sent his servant to say to those who had been invited, come along, everything is ready now. But all alike started to make excuses. The first said, I have bought a piece of land and must go and see it. Please accept my apologies. Another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and am on my way to try them out. Please accept my apologies. Yet another said, I have just got married and so I am unable to come. The servant returned and reported this to his master. Then the householder, in a rage, said to his servant, Go quickly into the streets and alleys of the town, and bring in here the poor, the crippled, the blind, and the lame. So said the servant, Your orders have been carried out, and there is still room. Then the master said to his servant, Go to the open roads, and the hedge grows, and force people to come in to make sure my house is full. Because I tell you, not one of those who were invited shall have a taste of my banquet. The Gospel of the Lord. My dear friends, For those of us who have enjoyed the literature of William Shakespeare, would recognize the fact that in his tragedies, Shakespeare's tragedies, recognize the fact that the play usually opens with a, with a hero rising to fame and, and power and wealth. And within him, however, there is actually a flaw of character at work. There's a flaw. And you may ask, what is this flaw? You already know. Just when he appears to reach the top, fortunes begin to turn against him. His flaw is his undoing, and he tumbles 
from the height of success right down to the depth of tragedy. His death is his end. One must also say that the opposite was true of Jesus. From the moment, as we heard in the first reading, he empties himself, taking the form of a servant, being born in the likeness of men. He went down descending, the descending way until he died on the cross. But death for Jesus was not the end. But actually, the, the beginning of his glory with the Father. And God our Father, my friends, as we heard in the gospel uh, passage here today, invites us to follow Jesus in his descending way as the man in the gospel invited people for a large dinner, for a banquet. However, it is up to us to accept the invitation, God's invitation. And God assures us that our descending way is actually the ascending way. It's a paradox. It is the way of suffering, but also the way of healing. It's the way of humiliation, but it's also the way to resurrection. It is a way of tears, which turns actually into tears of joy. It is a way of hiddenness, but also the way that leads to light, light that will shine on all people. It's the way of persecution and martyrdom, but also the way to the full disclosure of God's love. In the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. We now bring our petitions before our God here today. We have been welcomed to this banquet of Christ. Let there be no divisions as we praise our living God. We pray today that we will in the church be united in our convictions, free of all competition or conceit, thinking first of the interests of others. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. That the Eucharist would always be the source and summit of the church's life. And may those Catholics who are struggling to return to Mass during this pandemic soon feel confident to return. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. That St. Martin de Porres will be a strong model of humility, charity, and holiness for those who invoke him as patron and those who work for social justice. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. We pray that the present racial tensions, unrest, and violence in many parts of the world will give way to respect and cooperation as we seek the prayers of St. Martin, who with Spanish and African parents knew the burden of ridicule, harassment, and discrimination. Lord, hear us. Lord, us. We pray for our deceased loved ones, especially those names who have been placed in our basket here today. We pray for the repose of their souls. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear us. And now in the silence of your hearts, I invite you to pray for your personal intentions.
Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And Heavenly God, in the midst of this assembly, we praise you, whom we see with all hearts, all of hearts. Calm our restlessness and grant us peace. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. and for us a holy outpouring of your mercy through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Amen. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right it is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy, through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your world through whom you made all things, whom you sent as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he enjoyed his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory as in one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, dear, for the gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and given thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more given thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of a new and eternal covenant, which he poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection. We offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Given thanks, you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis our Pope and the Jason our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and the sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, his spouse, with the blessed apostles, St. Martin de Porres, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For it is through him, and with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now nod or wave to each other as a sign of peace. The Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. And Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. And Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Bless are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
Let us pray together. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and I unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you, O Divine Saviour, O Jesus, O Blessed Sacrament. Let us pray. May the working of your power, O Lord, increase in us, we pray, so that renewed by these heavenly sacraments, we may be prepared by your gift for receiving what they promise through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God now bless you. The Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is now ended. Go now in the peace of Christ, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God.